Oh, yeah. uh, I'm Noel Howard from Kilmore Historical and Archaeological Association. We've just built a brand new museum and a cultural centre in the village and we will be moving uh, most of the material in the old museum where I'm standing now to the new museum. I'm here with me today, Dan Holland, a great friend of ours, one of the founding members of the association, who was very actively involved in setting up the organisation and developing the museum. And uh, our, our other friend, Dan Joe Keller, who was doing this video, had done a video of our organisation back some, a number of years ago, and we thought it would be very nice if we did a repeat programme just before, on the final days maybe, of the old museum. So I just have a word with Dan there now, and he was just telling me that uh, about about on Tower Padder, and that he had actually played cards on the uh, table here in front of us. I did played cards there on that table, uh, and uh, Mara she played with cards with us as well. She was a great card player, and uh, she was a cousin to my wife, and that's how I got involved. One night we were saying that, that we wanted something for Kilmore Museum and so she, you can take the table, the, the, the dresser, the settle and some chairs and uh, we to replace them with, with, with uh, furniture. So we did that and uh, that's how it came here to Kilmore. On Taha Padro Lares, it actually came out of the house that he, I suppose he was born in. Yeah? So Very good. That was a good deal then? It was. <laughs> <laughs> Did you make money that night when you played cards? I, I lost it every time I sat down. <laughs> so, no. uh, yeah, the museum, this museum was opened by um, Mara McSweeney Brewer. That's right. The daughter of, of Terence McSweeney. Yeah, that's right. I was, I was at the opening. As a matter of fact, uh, the tape she caught, I, I, I kept it and I meant to bring it to here, but I can't find it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that'll turn up to then, don't worry. <laughs> yeah. That was in, in 1969. It was, I suppose. Yeah. But I, you were telling me that, 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 that even though the opening was in 69, that it was actually running for a couple of years. Oh, it was. Running for three or four years, I'd say. I don't know why, well, things were... There was no life in anything at the time. Money was very scarce. But uh, I remember when uh, I remember when the museum opened. They hadn't it opened at all at the time. But items came in, and they had no house to put them into, and they left them outside against the wall. I saw them there, and uh, however. They put an ad in the paper to know if they could uh, rent a house or buy a house. But um, there was no, nothing to turn up. And there was a few of the committee, they walked the village to know could they get a, an old house to, to, to open up. And they noticed this house in Shawnee uh, Gallivan's yard. And the gable end of it was, was coming out onto the footpath, which was very suitable. And um, they, uh, they, they, they asked uh, Sean out uh, for. Uh, they went in, uh, into the yard and they asked Sean uh, would he uh, rent the yard. And uh, what the answer Sean uh, made him that day was. I don't think it's private enough to open a museum there. But when they told him that they were going to put a, a door in the gable end and the window and close the, 
the doors going out back and the window. Well, he said, I'll make it private, and if that's the way, you can use it tomorrow morning. That was very generous then. It was the best offer ever. Uh, it was the start of opening Kilmore Museum because I don't think that they could open otherwise. No, there's no doubt about that. They couldn't. They couldn't, and we, it's been running since with the with, with the courtesy of the of, of the Galvin family and certainly the Kilmore yeah. Historical and Archaeological Association or the Mabig did. There's no doubt about that. So that's right. So that's the story of it. And everything is still here and going strong. Yeah. And we we'd let local people who are members at the time, Mary O'Sullivan was the secretary. Mary O'Sullivan, a great secretary, she was. Yeah. She was. And there was a good crowd of Billy Murphy was involved? Willie Murphy was. Yeah. Willie Murphy and myself spent a day back in Kinrow extending a, a big Linton stone. Uh, we were mixing concrete in the middle of the road and they were surprised what were we doing. <laughs> <laughs> so, no better. So, they, 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 there was a map here. Have you these rolled up maps? Come I on. think it's still here in the wall actually. Are they there? I think they are. We'll have I'm, a look now. I must have really. a look at it. Yeah, yeah. Because, uh, the, the, the field back in that I'm speaking about is on that map. Oh, Kilmore. Tra tra yeah, and it was a, a, cemetery, a, a cemetery at the time. Oh, right. In 1700. Oh, God. The map is, is, is there, 1700. I was going to look for it. I don't know, is it there all the time or not? I think it is. I think it is. We'll have a look. And this. I suppose then, before we go, we have to mention Father Donald Manny and oh, Father Don Eileen Manny and Father was my late father and Eileen and, and John and Don Lobukla and Don Lobukla who was uh, well he left uh, he, he left a, a great plot of ground to, to, to build the new museum did. and uh, a very central yeah yeah and uh, he should be he should be remembered Shauna and himself should be remembered for a, long, a good few days because they they laid the foundation of Kilmore Museum. Did it? Did it? Did it? Did it? And I'm sure we're forgetting people now too. Then we'll be we'll be. Well, uh, that's the trouble. Up. That's why I wasn't going to mention any names. But sure, look. Ah well, you, ha you have after to. After walking into it, no. <laughs> <laughs> but um, maps. I like that. I I think that could be up here. I don't know, we'll have a look for a second. I must have and there's three cups in Vic Victoria Hotel over there. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. What is this? Yeah. And that picture over there, Tom is Tom Barry is there, isn't it? He is. T turn it around here to me, just to, just the picture, face the picture to the camera, just to see what I. Here, standing by the door. Good man. <laughs> a few <laughs> years ago, it is. Yeah. Not big day opening day. No, no Mara makes me really bruise it. Uh, That's the really presentation of the Crossley tender wheel. Yeah. The one Dan has. Is that the sign still over the door? No, there's a kind of a no. no a there's a cast iron, There's a cast sign up there, no? I made that sign. The one outside it. Oh yeah. There's a metal sign there, no? I wish I would. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we looked down the windows, no? Yeah. There you go. It's a. It's a. It's a. But just across the end, door. It is. It is indeed. I don't know, it was that way when it came until it didn't, it 
is the same today. A lot of stuff. Some mighty picture then. I hope too many around one be looking at us. <laughs> <laughs> I just be valuable. There's a lot of animals stuff here inside in this small place. That's a great shot, You may be sure you won't put it together. Overnight now. You couldn't get any of that stuff then? No, you won't get any of it. Not at all. I meant it, it, it is very valuable stuff to have put some bit of it into the new museum as well. Is that right in the top of the case there? There is. Travel bag owned by General Tom Bally. We're in the middle. <laughs> We're like the German in the sandwich, all the experts will tell you is this and that. That's the job. <laughs> What's a bust? It's not a desk. It's yeah, a bust, yeah. It's a bust, yeah. And who was that guy then? Tol yeah. Don Lomoraco, Tol of Do Professor Don Lomoraco, Kalashina. Uh, uh, I couldn't tell you a bit about that, no, to find mm -hmm. I can't even remember look, seeing it. And they were made on Nakraha, that actual one. There was a grenade factory. A grenade. On. <laughs> Look at the old tensioning that was. Yeah. Is it? Is it really yeah, Sean on the pub? Was it Sean himself or was it Sean's father? It could be Sean's father. Oh, yeah, that is. It was Sean. It could be Sean himself. They could be. Cut down there, they had the. Do you remember a lot of the channels with, with a lot of you don't? I do, I do, yeah. You do? I do. They would have their own gas and things, right? They were. Yeah. yeah. Denis Callan was stuck at that. Denis Callan was there. He, yeah, he yeah. came from Russia. That's right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He, was, he was working out his right time with channels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was? Yeah. And he'd be different politics that. Oh, I don't know about <laughs> Well, he was, uh, he was, Sean, we'll have to get these back. The three of them stood up like that uh, to see what was happening. Yeah. And the tents covered, uh, they went down again, but the tents covered, they were bound to come up, stick up their head again. That's yeah. how the three of them got shot in. Mm. There's a lot of valuable stuff here. And I, it, it would be very hard to put it together again. Impossible then. And, oh. and you know, you're looking. But the older thing gets, the more interesting it is. That's true, isn't it? Yeah. And maybe, I forgot to mention, right, 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 right. right now. Well, then we've, we've, we've discussed and questioned and, 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 and been through a lot of the exhibits. I suppose there's just one thing has struck me that 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 that, that, that without this without, without the contribution of the pack she hadn't going back a long ways first of all. Yes. Like this pack was the main men that got the, the whole show on the road and, and that got the idea of a museum. He was. And there's a huge debt owed to him. I remember I remember Pack Sheehan going down to Warren Scott with him as a young fellow about seven or eight with my late father. And and the man was an absolute fountain of knowledge. What he didn't know, he knew like it going all. back to prehistory and that you know. Oh, he did. He did. Back was a great man, and a lot of mercy on his son John. He he, he was a, a great man. But they, they they were a big loss to the museum, and John especially. He died a young man. He did, and he's John and he, actually built all the cabinets that we look at here. Yeah. And I suppose John spent most of his free time out here. To be frank with you. He did. He did. It was a, 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 he did. He made, they, were, they were great people. I mean, when this when this place was open, there was no, there was no electricity or no light in the place, and um, Sunday evenings they, they they opened it a shilling I think to come in, and uh, they had to get a the lot of mercy and the two two my sisters Nani and Nelly they, they came in turns every Sunday, and they had no light it would be dark from four o'clock but. They stuck it out and they, well, it was open the hard way. 
and uh, they may think the the people of uh, all the people of Kilmore they supported it, and I never heard any bad rumor about anything. There was ever about the museum. Nobody ever opened their mouth, and I went through the parish every day of my lifetime. So, all the, I wish them all the best to look. That's great, and thank you very much indeed. And I suppose certainly we, we can't forget the committee members down through the years who, oh, who, yes. who, who ran the show and who collected funding. And I mean, we wouldn't have a magnificent new museum uh, and building just down the road here without the, the, the impetus we got from a considerable cash fund that they had built up over the years. Yes. And um, that'll be another story for Danjo when we get when, when we have our opening of the new museum and that but, but uh, I think it's uh, we, we do think that this is actually the oldest um, museum of its genre in the country that we're, we're it's the first local museum. I'm sure people will contradict that. They, they, um, won't, they won't because uh, I tell you it was, it was the first uh, village museum in, in Munster being a village that you had a museum in, in a city and in a town, a town museum in a city, but you never had a village museum until Kilmurray opened. You know what I mean, yeah, right. a, a village museum. Another first for Kilmurray then? Oh yes, <laughs> another goal scored. It is great to have Dan Holland here with us because during, we have been working this new museum for seven or eight years and Dan Holland has been up to Kilmurray and keeping in contact right the way through and has helped us in so many ways so it is marvellous to have Dan here today and to listen to his, to get his input on the many artefacts and, and to give us the background and who contributed them so Dan it is great, uh, this is a very happy occasion for us really Thank you and, very uh, much And it's I'd lovely like, to see you I'd always I'd like to help anything, any time but uh, there is a great collection, you wouldn't get them today, and that means an awful lot. And it's local, so I was the treasurer for 10 years. I came every every month to the uh, meetings here, but I needn't be afraid going home with the what would be collected. <laughs> You'd be looking to have a pawn out. <laughs> you didn't have to have a security guard or anyone waiting to shop. Not at all. <laughs> Will all that be in television? <laughs> at first, they'd, they should come into his own yard yeah. because there was a door coming in there and a door there. But he didn't understand like it. But when they, when they explained that the phone, that the gable end was going out and that they'd open the door there and put a window, which they did, and they closed the rest of them. And they did make it private, but, but Shana didn't want people coming into his own. Oh, you can't, you couldn't, couldn't, couldn't be, couldn't trust be the right thing. Trust right? to blame. Yeah, yeah. No, it wouldn't be the right thing. Everything was sorted out. Things can be overcome. So they'll all be down there and but the thing is all the stuff will be I'm back in the street right now. I'm not taking this into press now at all. This hospital. That switch.
said a few stories. And said, <laughs> <laughs> My vice could be captured in the room. I've been thrown at him on stage several times. There was no recording that time, was there? <laughs> Live uh, interception. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> I remember it.